what's up everybody it's me Kaden and in today's video we're gonna be reviewing Scream 5 Can anybody out there hear me? Okay, so I, what I like about this movie was that it was actually able to scare me. Whenever there was a jump scare, I would actually get so nervous. And what didn't help it was that, like, was, like, how, like, it was making it so intense. Like, you were expecting Ghostface to be there, but he isn't, so you know he's coming. But it didn't even help me at all when they would just blast, like, a big boom sound. Like, I remember being in the movie theater, and I was like... Why is everything so loud? Like, oh my god. But, like, I do have to admit, the one thing I didn't like was that they, like, I was actually thinking they were gonna use, like, a metallic silver ghost face mask. I really thought they were. But nope, they stick to the original. Now, for the new cast, I like how some of them were supposed to play, like, like a build off version of the ones from the first movie like Mindy playing doing the role of Randy because Randy is her uncle now I have to admit I do like how they added um, um, um Randy's sister from the third one because when I first saw her I was like ain't she from the third one <laughs> so like I did like that too and I have to admit, I really wanted Liv to survive as well. Like, I was actually disappointed when they killed her off. Because you have to feel bad for her as well. Like, she's being pinpointed as the killer when she's like, I'm not the killer. I'm not. Then, boom, she just gets killed off by Ghostface, who is Amber. So now I have to admit, whenever I look at Ghostface and the thumbnail or a trailer... He looks so serious, but when you look at them without the mask, I say this every time, but when you look at them without the mask, they just look like a bunch of crazy teens who are just like, oh, we're big staff fans. Like, that's what they look like, but yeesh. Now, I do have to admit, I was nervous for Jen Ortega. I did not want her to die. Like, Tara was actually a character I felt like was gonna die because she was the opening kill. But like I was like, no. But like it's a re so like it's a requel. So maybe they can change it. So like that's what I was thinking. So I was glad that she didn't die. But like for me, I like that line Amber says when she kills Liv and says, "Welcome to Act 3. That was a nice line actually. But like, but like when I saw Dewey's death, <laughs> like when I saw it, I was like. Of course, like, I remember in the last Scream 5 video, I was, like, having a theory saying Dewey may die because Gail was, like, trying to get away from somebody, so I was like, yep. <laughs> so, like, I wasn't really surprised when they killed him off, but yeesh, they killed him off brutal. But, like, I had the feeling that he was g gonna die by getting backstabbed. I had the feeling, but... I was kind of right because he stabbed him in the stomach and the back. But, like, I actually was kind of shocked that um, she was Billy's daughter, that Sam was Billy's daughter. And what makes it more confusing was that, that he was in high school and that he was dating Cindy, so he's a dad. But, like, I do have to admit, the best scene was that scene where Tara was in the wheelchair and just trying to get away from Ghostface. That was intense. Like, he's right behind her. Like, imagine being in that situation. You're in a hospital, and it's just plain dark, and you're having to get away from someone who's gonna kill you. And the only way you can move is in a wheelchair. That's possibly the horrifying thing ever. But like that moment where um Gail like set Amber on fire, when Amber came back, the look on my face was, "You were burned and shot. How are you not dead?" Because even though I know Scream has those moments where they where they say they come back, even though they may be dead, she should have died on the first try. So when she didn't, the first look on my face was was. This girl may actually be the first supernatural ghost face, but I do like how they put, they like, use Stu's house as the little, um, house. But like, imagine Cindy's point of view of it. She's literally going back into a house that her friend has basically been murdered. 
that's possibly the worst experience ever. But like, I have to admit, if I was in a house where I knew like someone killed people in, that may have wanted me to move out already. So yeah, that was a nice touch. But like, I, now I'm starting to wonder, will Sam be the next Cindy Prescott? Because I'm starting to think when they make another one, they're not gonna put Cindy in it. They're just gonna have Sam as it. But like, who is somebody who will want to hurt Sam? Like, that's a good question though. But like, I mean, I do like the that little ending though, where it said for Wes, so that was kind of making sense for like Wes Craven. So I like that. But like, I have to admit, I was always wondering. Like, I, when I first saw Tara, I thought she was in middle school. So when I found out she was in high school, the look on my face was, how? Because she looks so younger when you look at her. She looks like she's a middle schooler. So, like, I do have to admit, I did like that reference to that YouTube channel called Dead Meat and the Kirby Reed reference. Because I remember when I looked to the side I saw Kirby Reed, my reaction was, Oh, so she is alive. <laughs> cause I cause I feel like for me, after watching Scream 5, I can't tell which one's better. Scream 4 or Scream 5. But like I do have to admit, like I feel like out of all the characters, I feel like that maybe Amber had to be the best ghost face because she genuinely really wanted to like do it. Like, her and Richie really had a good plan, but the fact Richie had the inhaler all this time... But, like, I do have to admit, I did not like it when Dewey said, Look, make sure you look at the love interest, because you just spoiled who the killer could be. But it is Scream, so of course you have to follow the rules. But I guess, like, yeah, I guess it is Scream, though. But, like, I just wish... Don't say who it who it is. Don't say it's the love interest or nothing. Don't say who it is. So like I feel like maybe that could have been the worst part. But like I still can't get over how like Amber died. Like this movie was actually brutal compared to the others. There was Judy and Wes's death, then Amber's death that got me, cause yeesh. But like dude, imagine having to get shot in and like you accidentally fall into the oven and get burned. That's painful. So like I don't I would never want to die like that. That's the worst way to die. So, but like I'm still getting confused on Cindy's part though. Like who's the father of her kids? That's still what I'm questioning about. And then I'm starting to predict something. I know nobody wants to believe this, but I feel like we're gonna have to wait another four or five movies to see Gail die. I'm just thinking about it. So like, I'm, I'm not gonna be shocked when they kill off Gail because maybe for the next four movies, if they do make it, I feel as if they may actually kill off Gail. Be well, I mean, I just, I can see it happening actually. So like, I wouldn't be shocked if it did. Well, I really do hope they plan on making like another Scream movie because I will definitely be looking forward to watching it. Anyway, that was my review for Scream 5. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you next time. Did anybody out there hear me?